This video is brought to you by Skillshare. It was so calm whenever we arrived in Soler. Even though the anchorage was very full, we took our time to find a spot on sand because we knew this anchorage was very notorious for bad anchor holding. Patricia, as usual, fed the fish and also the ducks that came to say hello. And we watched the sunset through the narrow entrance of the port of Soyer. And tonight, we're supposed to have a lot of wind coming our way here. So we decided to get a slot here in the marina in Port de Soyer in Mallorca. Two nights ago, I had that issue with that uh, other catamaran that decided to simply throw anchor at wherever they pleased in front of other boats, really creating a lot of problems in terms of dragging anchor and so on. So let me explain from the beginning what happened. And for that, let me go back 48 hours in time and start right after the beautiful sunset we watched from the narrow entrance of the Port de Soleil. As we were admiring the sunset, we noticed a Naughty Tech 46 catamaran entering super fast the bay and throwing anchor pretty much at anywhere. That called for our attention because they didn't even put their bridle on their boat. By the way, bridle is that cable that secures the chain that comes from both sides of the catamaran that helps avoid the too much swinging and the pressure on the windlass, making anchoring more secure. We knew that later that evening, the wind would pick up, but surely they would return before it. And we are here in Soyer in uh, Palma, and this catamaran that is right beside us arrived like uh, almost before sunset. The guy just dropped anchor, didn't even put his, uh, his bridle on, left the boat and uh, went to the city. And now we have 20 knots of wind, he's dragging anchor and uh, everything is locked over there in his boat. Uh, we try to, uh, to light up his boat and uh, you know, flash some light out, out there in the port where their all the restaurants are because we feel like the guy's over there eating something, but uh, he's not coming back. So we're like on the lookout here because uh, there's a very good chance that we're gonna have to move and uh, re-anchor soon. So, you know, it's not gonna be a peaceful night tonight. We're gonna have to be on the lookout. Well, I guess we did jump to conclusions too fast. At 11 o'clock, it was blowing about 25 knots with gusts of about 30 making that catamaran swing radically from one side to the other, causing their anchor to drag. Luckily, there was nobody behind them, and their anchor held back again 15 meters later. At 11.30, the irresponsible crew from that boat arrived and would not find their boat. So we pointed it out with a flashlight to their vessel. And this is when the drama started. They quickly raised anchor, and instead of going in the back of the anchorage to throw anchor once again, they decided to go in front of everybody. In front of us, there was a catamaran called Windboard from a couple from the Netherlands that were anchored here in Soler for a couple of days already. And this is what happened.
This irresponsible captain, that in our opinion was probably drunk, threw anchor twice on top of windboard, getting so close to them that they would touch their chain with their hole. We also dragged anchor like everyone else, but only about 30 meters, as our anchor got a good grip again afterwards. So we felt it would not be a good idea to re-anchor in the middle of the night during that chaos. Making things worse, now the captain from that Not Attack 46 decided to come towards us and set anchor dangerously close to us, he stating that he would leave at 5 o'clock in the morning. At sea, we find that people help each other by instinct, and we felt that tonight everyone at anchor realized the situation was very dangerous and wanted to help this captain but he would scream back to anyone saying that he knew what he was doing and for everybody to shut up. It is sad and worrisome that you may find a captain like that allowed to be a skipper of a charter boat. We hope never to cross paths again with this vessel and its crew. I'm going to interrupt this video real quick to thank our today's sponsor. We have been personally using Skillshare for the past year and it has been a great tool for me and Patricia to self-education on topics we simply want to learn more about it from anywhere, any devices as we travel around the world on Joy. Now, whether you're just curious, want to supercharge your creativity or like us, just want to continue to learn new skills along the way, it has been the perfect website for us. We have chosen the premium membership that gives us access to all the classes available. You just select what you want to learn more about it and boom, there you are. I wanted to learn more about how to set up my camera to take the best shots possible around here. So I selected Fundamentals of DSLR Photography by Justin Bridges. It really helped me to get the most out of our videos and pictures. Patricia also took this class and loved it, as Skillshare have now the entire catalog with subtitles in Spanish, French, German, and of course, Portuguese. So, because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1,000 people that click on the link that I'm gonna leave on the description of this video will get a free month to explore Skillshare. Now, all you have to do is click on the link and get your free month. We really hope you enjoy it as much as we do it. Depois da noite caótica de ontem, a gente conseguiu uma vaga aqui na marina de última hora. A gente vai agora atracar ali no pier. A gente tá acabado, a gente não dormiu nada a noite inteira. Foi horrível. E a hora que a gente vai atracar no pier, começa a vir isso aqui e a buzinar pra gente alto. Sai da frente! E a gente precisa ir ali. Agora espera um minutinho e aí vai. Olha, não é fácil não. Marina aqui de Solera é minúscula, para você conseguir uma vaga aqui, sorte, quando tem ventores assim, todo mundo quer ir para Marina também, agora a gente vai. Vou ter aquelas imagens para você. Esse veleiro que tá parado aqui na frente, ele desgarrou, acho que perdeu o motor. Aí a polícia, a guardinha, teve que trazer ele aqui pro pier, tá ali amarrado. Nossa a vaga é essa, até que é grande, vai ser bem tranquilo aqui para os dias de vento. As we came into our slot, a line that was on the water got caught on our propeller, so I had to jump in real quick and release it. Okay. 
foi? Eu odeio ficar em marina Porque na marina Geralmente os cabos que você tem que colocar no barco Para segurar são na frente Chama morto E ele é cheio de uma craca do mar Então ele machuca a mão Aí eu uso essa luva aqui Para tirar ele E aí é mais ou menos assim ó. Esse cabo nojento Você tem que puxar muito ele Para o barco ir lá para frente E aí você Amarra assim Esse aqui até que tá tranquilo Mas tem uns assim que corta o dedo Muito ruim A água dessa marina aqui ela é bem transparente ó, Dá até pra enxergar o pedaço do cabo Que puxa o morto E ele vai lá pra frente Esse aqui tá bem esticado Porque o vento tá vindo Na sua direção aqui We have uh, the hole number one Of Lagoon 55 right there they arrived today and uh they don't have space in the marina so they decided to uh throw anchor they're gonna be staying exactly in the same place that we stayed when we had that issue with that uh, other catamaran that decided to simply throw anchor at wherever they pleased in front of other boats really creating a lot of problems in terms of dragging anchor and so on we're gonna be able to see her here on the chart plotter exactly uh, what is gonna happen to them tonight. If they're gonna drag anchor or not, hopefully nothing happens with anybody that is out there uh, on the anchorage, but it's supposed to be very strong tonight. Good morning, and after a night, a rolling night, let's put it this way, because even though we were in a marina, it, the entire night was like that. Uh, Patricia didn't sleep much uh, last night because she was worried, even though we are in a marina. And uh, we also had a lot of the uh, boats that we have out there on the anchorage, they were dragging anchor again. Uh, this board here in Solaire is very famous for that, uh, a lot of people do uh, reports that the, the anchor drags a lot the soil is not very uh, very good we do have some spots of sand but uh, the majority of the places here for you to anchor is not the best so today uh, we're gonna be receiving our dealer here that sold our boat 
uh, because we were made aware that now there's a new procedure for your warranty to be valid they have to survey the boat on a yearly basis uh, to check uh, the bulkheads, uh, to check anything related to the hole itself so the warranty can be valid. But in terms of this uh, survey on a yearly basis, this is news to us. We were never informed that this was a requirement before. So I think there's a lot of Lagoon 46 owners out there. I don't know if you guys have done that or not. If you have, leave us a comment here. Uh, on the on the video below telling us uh, if you had performed on a yearly basis uh, for the three years of the warranties uh, worth it I think it's like uh, I don't think it's a very complicated survey that they're gonna do but I'm gonna film and I'll show it to you guys as well but that and much more we'll show you on our next video